This is Mike Kalis, aka The Zilch, aka Koalas, and he's another engineer here at Respawn working on matchmaking and servers. Now this is Slothy. You may remember him from previous videos about servers. <laughs> so Mike, what did we learn from the matchmaking in Titanfall 1? So from Titanfall 1's matchmaking, we learned a few things that we've now fixed in Titanfall 2. Uh, first being, as matches go on throughout the day or night, people come and go from their match, of course, and we would end up with matches that were unfull. Second, we identified players were sometimes confused or it wasn't always clear what matchmaking was doing as, you, as we created matches or between lobbies. So we also learned some things about skill, right? Yeah, so in Titanfall 1, a large majority of the skill was based on whether you won or lost uh, matches. And in Titanfall 2, that's still true. Win and losses are still a good contribution to your skill metric. But in addition, we're looking a lot more at your individual contribution to matches. And the idea there is to get people move their move their skill much quicker so that you can get more interesting or challenging matches. So we also got feedback from players that watching teams get made and formed around them was confusing, right? Yeah, so in Titanfall 1, I mean, it's, in essence, we would we throw a good guy into a match. Like, if we couldn't find you a match, we would basically make a match for you, and we would start forming people around you, and you would see people potentially come and go if they're like, oh, I don't really want to play LTS, so I'm going to go play CTF. They would show up in your lobby, disappear. You'd see, like, maybe parties show up, and so there'd be, like, four people on one team, and you'd be the solo guy on one team. You're like, what is matchmaking doing? Why is it doing a 4v1? And you might leave. And so it's kind of chaotic for matchmaking and the users in general. Like, the confusion is no good. So what's different in Titanfall 2? So in Titanfall 2, you'll see that matchmaking is like a lot quicker. The skill makeup of the matches will be a lot closer. And part of that is, after every match, we're kind of reevaluating everyone's skill globally. So we can look at other matches, your match, and we can kind of move players around and just make a lot better matches. How do we think it's going to improve on Titanfall 1? So in Titanfall 1, Essentially, we captured every person matchmaking, leaving matchmaking, coming and going from deadies. So we basically had a giant spreadsheet, and we fed that into a Titanfall 2 simulator that's simulating how we would do matchmaking in, in Titanfall 2. And we just saw tighter and, and better matches being made. And the whole idea for us going to tech test is to basically prove that our simulator is doing what it actually should. So we'll actually have millions of players coming and going for matchmaking and we'll prove out that the new matchmaking is making much better matches. So what are we looking to learn during tech test? So as Slothy mentioned in his previous server video, uh, we're going to be on a massive amount of number of servers on across multiple cloud providers. So we have to make sure matchmaking and as we know, as many of you know, Strider can handle the load from all those servers. We're going to make sure that we're measuring skill uh, much more accurately this time so that you can continue to have fun match to match and that the user matchmaking flow is just much more clear as you come and go for matches. And finally, we just want everyone to come enjoy our tech test, bang on our servers, stress them as, stress them as hard as you can, and uh, let's have a successful lunch. Sounds good to me.